How would you phase out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? Does the private mortgage industry need additional regulation? That's from William Schmidt. Uh, let me start with Governor Romney. Well, I, I think you know that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were a big part of why we have the housing crisis in the nation that we have. And, and we've had this discussion before. Uh, Speaker Gingrich was hired by Freddie Mac to promote them. Uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, influence other people throughout Washington, encouraging them to uh, not to dismantle these two entities. I think that was an enormous mistake. Uh, I think instead we, we should have had a whistleblower and not a, a horn tutor. I would do no consulting, wrote in, no, cons I mean, no lobbying. Governor Romney owns uh, shares of both Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Governor Romney made a million dollars off of selling some of that. Governor Romney owns share uh, and has an investment in Goldman Sachs. But what the speaker did was to work as a spokesman to promote Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, to protect them from those people that wanted to take them down. He got paid $1.6 million to do that. He said his first contract indicated there'd be no lobbying, but his second contract didn't have that prescription. He's not aware of the investments that were being made in his name. Of course, I and can't. Compare, blind trust. To compare my investments with his is like comparing a tiny mouse with a giant elephant. Uh, the, fact, the fact is uh, that there is a very substantial question. You didn't give any instructions to, to, to say, gee, well, let's not do this or let's not do that. I would do no consulting, wrote in, no cons I mean, no lobbying. It seems that they both acknowledge they both made money from Fannie and Freddie. Should they return that money? That, that subject really doesn't interest me a whole lot. <laughs> but the question does. The, the question is, what are we going to do about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? It should have been auctioned off uh, right after the crash came. It would have been cleansed by now. It should have been sold. But maybe it's my physician background, but I think an ounce of prevention is what we ought to talk about so we quit doing this. But it, we know how the bubble came about. It was excessive credit, interest rates held too, too low, too long, the Federal Reserve responsible for that. Community Reinvestment Act, which is affirmative action, telling banks they have to make these risky loans. At, this, at the same time, uh, there was a line of credit which allowed Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to, uh, you, you know, to make more money. And it was, uh, it, it was assumed that they would always be protected. Now, you can't argue. I haven't, I've talked a long time about cutting off that credit from the Fed. I was trying to prevent this stuff. Also, I opposed Community Reinvestment Act as well as I had legislation in 10 years before the bus came to remove that line of credit to the Fed, uh, to, to the Treasury. Oh.